five minute faith today we are nearing the end we've got a couple left after this for our passage in Isaiah 40 this is Isaiah 40 verse 15 B look he lifts up the aisles as a very little thing or if you look in the new trans uh, new living translation it says he picks up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand now um, there is <laughs> once again a, a picture of God's massiveness first we've had the idea that all of the waters of the earth all the oceans they fit into the hollow of his hand we've had the picture of him you know putting his hand down like this and that everything in creation fits inside this space um, and now now he's saying oh and, and our and our countries are, are dust they're dust on the scales right now he's saying all the land of the earth to him is like a grain of sand it's nothing it, it's literally nothing you don't even notice it um, in terms of any weight or substance that it has it's nothing by comparison and again we can take that in directions that feel like a chastisement we can say oh gosh you know I put so much time and effort into these things that they're really nothing next to God I would encourage you to look at this from the perspective that nothing is insurmountable for him nothing is too big or too heavy or too difficult there's nothing that in the face of it he lacks power Right, because what we're being told here is everything encapsulated in our earth to him is something that just would blow away with a breath. His power is so massive compared to anything that's at work on earth. We don't have to worry about it. I would point you to uh, Philippians 4. Uh, verses 6 and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Um, in that passage, we get, I don't want to call it a formula, but instruction on how to find peace. And what it tells us is, instead of sitting there thinking, what if, what if, what if, take the time to tell God what's going on, tell him what you need, and be thankful for the things he's done. And through that, you find peace. Now, I would tell you from experience what happens when you take, when everything that bothers you, or everything that's upsetting you, when all of it you take it to God and you keep taking it to God, as soon as you get weighed down by something or worried about something, you stop your thoughts and you start talking to God about it. And you, and you acknowledge to Him what the problem is, what you think you need. But then you're also expressing thankfulness for the things that he's already done, the good things he's already done. When you practice that, when you put yourself into obedience to that, you will spend a lot of your time praying. Don't get me wrong. You're definitely, especially early on, lifting things a lot frequently. But what happens is, I believe where God's peace comes from is this utter conviction that we're safe in his hands. This utter conviction that nothing that comes against us can, can triumph over him. That's where peace comes from. It comes from a sense of safety. And the more we talk to God about what's going on, what we need in it, what we're thankful for, we get our heart gets moved into this position where we actually understand the size of his power in reflection against the size of the problem. So yes, compared to me, many problems are mountains, but compared to him, they are grains of sand. I would encourage you to take that with you today, talk to him about it, think about it, think about what it means, and I will be with you again tomorrow.